everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a ranch home build and um, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I think it turned out um, really nicely. Uh, I've been kind of like struggle busing a little bit with some of the builds that I've been doing recently. Um, I don't know why, just like in general, I guess with videos, but um, yeah, I've just been like taking some time off of camera to build stuff and um, you know, get inspiration for different things. And yeah, I think I'm feeling a little bit more uh, refreshed in a creative way. So that's nice. But um, I was kind of like in the middle of going through that refreshing creative process um, when I was in the middle of building this. So yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I ended up um, really liking how it turned out. I was going to originally go for kind of more of a worn down kind of ranch home look and then it just kind of didn't end up being like that um in the end i kind of go for a little bit of a more i guess contemporary kind of not really like modern but just you know it's got the bigger windows and um like the finished siding and yeah so that's kind of like what happened in my brain like when i was doing the build for this um I was kind of thinking that um, maybe like the Sims who live here have upgraded it over time. So it's like a work in progress kind of ranch home. So there's parts of the house that are a little bit older. Um, and like all the walls that I did on the interior are the exact same. So um, except for like a couple of like accent walls that I did or like in the bathrooms, there's like tile. Um, but I kept the walls mostly the same just because... Um, I wanted it to feel like it was from like years ago, um, like I don't know, maybe from like the like 1800s or something like that. And so like the w walls inside of the house are like the wood finish that comes with. Um, originally, I think I put the ones in from Sulani, not Sulani, but like the pack. What's it called? Um, <laughs> not Island Paradise. Oh my goodness, my brain's blanking for some reason. But you know what I'm talking about. The um, island pack that we got was Sulani. Why is, like, I cannot remember for the life of me right now what that pack is um, called. But anyways, you know the, like, what like wood plank siding that's in that pack? Um, island living. Oh my goodness. I literally just Googled it because for some reason my brain completely blanked on that. But yeah, the one from island living is the one that I did on the interior. And then I took it all out and... Um, I replaced it with the kind of like wood plank siding that came with uh, the for like ranch pack, um, horse ranch pack, just because I felt like, uh, you know, if they're like renovating this house and stuff over time, it would be just a little bit um, updated, but it still looks kind of worn down. And I just like the way that it looked um, and I, it was kind of more like neutral for the inside. Um, so yeah. That's kind of what I went for. And then in the, there's like two kids bedrooms in this house and for their bedrooms, I did like just an accent wall with like wallpaper. So it's mostly like white plank wood siding inside. And then there's like a couple accent walls in the bedroom, but yeah, that's pretty much what I did for this build. Um, I like, I really wanted to, I know, I think I mentioned this like in one of my other videos, but I wanted to do like a baker, like a cottage kind of build and like the person in it is like a, a baker or something like that. Um, but I ended up doing that in this house. So I don't know, we might still end up doing it, like who knows, but, um, but yeah, I don't think I'll do that cottage kind of build that I was going to plan on just cause I the whole reason why I wanted to do it was to use this like kitchen set. It was like a baker's kitchen set from um, this CC maker called Valia. But I ended up using that kitchen in this build. Um, so it, it scratched the itch that I wanted. Um, and yeah, I really like the way that kitchen set looks. Um, there's some like nice CC that's coming out from different um, CC makers recently. So that's really nice to see. Um, but yeah, they're one of them. Um, I really enjoy some of the things that I've seen that they've made so far. So yeah, I was going to do like 
more of like an actual driveway driveway like paved kind of driveway but then I thought that didn't really work out with the vibes of the ranch house and I wanted it to kind of blend in a little bit um with like the dirt like orangey kind of dirt that's around um the area so I kind of tried to do that with the terrain paint um actually ended up having to redo the train paint because that weird glitch that happens where like if you exit a build and then go back in and it like deletes all the terrain paint um that happened to me again for some reason i haven't had that glitch happen in a while but um yeah it happened with this build so i had to go in and redo it unfortunately um but yeah it turned out in the end but yeah super annoying i don't know why that glitch happened um but yeah i used the pillars from what's it called growing together um and i i like the way that is what they're from right yeah i'm pretty sure um but yeah i use those pillars i was going to use the like kind of rusty ones that came with uh the horse ranch pack but i kind of liked the way that it looked um because like i said i was thinking that it's a house that's being kind of updated and um renovated over time so i just thought it would make sense that maybe they're like you know some of the wood on the outside exterior of the house is a little bit worn down um but then they have like these pillars and stuff that look a little bit more new with like the um black finish and the like stone and everything on it so yeah just kind of going for that vibe of like like i said like you know they're renovating it over time but yeah i'm using these bushes a lot i realize in builds um they're conversions i think and I just really like the way they look. I'm using them so much. Um, it's kind of like how I wish the plants looked in The Sims, to be honest. Um, I've complained about this before, but I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I really would love if they overhauled the textures and the look of some of the plants and trees and stuff like that, um, because some of them just, you know, this game's like a decade old and it's, you know, it's showing its age as time goes on, and I feel like if they redid some of the textures of the meshes and stuff like that, it would look so much better for the game. And I think that the bushes and trees and, like, some of the flora that we have in the game really needs a good, like, mesh and texture update. Um, and if you haven't seen, um, as I'm recording this voiceover right now, uh, they've basically released that... Um, there is no Sims 5 and they're just kind of continuing The Sims 4 forever <laughs> and um, just doing like little mini side projects on the side. Um, a lot of people are upset about that, which makes sense because I think we all kind of just wanted something new and refreshed and updated, um, but it doesn't look like that's happening. So um, we're kind of stuck with this for a while. I really hope that because they're trying to... Um, you know, continue The Sims 4, uh, that they just kind of overhaul a lot of things. But like seeing how the game reacts with just like a patch update or like any update at all, it, you know, most of the time it like breaks things and things don't work. Like, I don't know how they're gonna do that. Like, I don't know how they're gonna have, it feels like the longevity of this game just isn't there. Like there's not, the foundation is just so shaky for it that I don't know how they're gonna go forward with building on top of it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but yeah, so that's happening. And so I don't know if they would do a graphics overhaul um, or if they would do like any kind of overhaul of anything in the game or if they would just build on it. Um, but I really think it would be a good idea if they're gonna keep milking this game for years to come. Um, and it's already showing its age like this game no offense but like without a reshade or something like over top where it like changes um, the graphics and stuff this game looks super old um, there's like no shadowing there's no there's not a lot of depth to things and I you know obviously that's like the reason why a lot of people prefer to use shaders if they can just to kind of update the graphics um, but if they were able to do that and do a graphics overhaul i think that would be like the best thing but i also don't know how that would work with an already shaky foundation which is why everyone just wanted a sims 5 and something different um 
so that's unfortunate but yeah if they do end up doing some kind of graphics thing then i hope that they could um redo you know shot you know shadows and you know give things depth like if we place a chair or table or something there's actual shadows underneath it um bounce lighting um you know some kind of like light ray tracing like i'm not saying it has to look like a triple a amazing game but like you know just like lighting realistic lighting effects and shadows and things like that and redo the textures and meshes of a lot of the older base game um furniture and like pieces like that and just kind of like update it because i think it needs a facelift <laughs> a little bit um and yeah just like retextures and things like that but anyways um let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below about them kind of abandoning the whole idea of doing a sims 5 and just kind of sticking with the sims 4 um for years to come uh because i'm I, i'm seeing you know a lot of the discourse online is like this game just isn't built for that and I have to agree, like, if we're getting game-breaking glitches and bugs all the time with just patch updates, I can't imagine how it's going to go on for that much longer. It really does feel like they would need to overhaul everything, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but, um, you know, at least we'll have pair lives. Because <laughs> that's what I'm waiting for. Um, but yeah. I do like this game like it's not I wouldn't have a channel and I wouldn't be playing it every week if I didn't like this game um it's just unfortunate like kind of the turn that it's taken in like the franchise as a whole um because there's just not as much you know you can kind of see like how those previous games in the franchise were like passion projects for them and as like things have changed over time and people have left the company um how it's just kind of turned into um you know like a business and doing everything for money and stuff like that um so you can just see how it's like changed over time as it's been taken over by other people and but yeah i don't know it's it's kind of sad but i i do like playing this game it's just i'm kind of worried for its future just because it's already so having so many issues <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways, I've been, like, talking over this whole, like, outdoor area, but, um, as you can see, I put a grill outside and then, like, a pergola area for them to kind of sit at and, um, just, like, chill out there and have some time and enjoy the weather. And then there's, like, a seating area, too, so they can eat outside, they can relax outside, and, um, there's also a fire pit so they can sit out there in the nighttime and have a nice fire. And then obviously I put a um, horse stable so you can have a horse on this lot if you would like to. And right next to the slot, there's like that, like, I don't know, training ground kind of thing. And it has like the horse um, jumping things. So you can, um, since there's like obviously not enough room on this lot specifically to put the um, like training things for the horses, there is the lot next to it that you can run them in. So I thought that was kind of, it was nice and convenient. <laughs> Um, to have that right there, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think I do that much out here. Oh yeah, I put a little, like, bowl out for the horse, um, and then I think I just kind of, like, decorate around the, um, stall just to have some, like, horsey kind of decoration, <laughs> um, and different things, like, to care for the horse and stuff like that, and I did put a little, you'll see, like, that, like, the square kind of rock, um, thing and it's got like wood kind of around it. It's a it's a dog bath so you can um, Bathe like pets and stuff like that if you have pets on the lot I think I did put I put that there and I also um, Put like dog beds and stuff inside of the house and like a toy crate and stuff um, So I was thinking that they did have a uh, dog here as well. Maybe it like guards the property and stuff like that um, But yeah, so that's what I was thinking of I think I, I built this house for like um, a parent or two parents and two kids and a horse and a dog. So that's how the house is built. I think it's it's three bedrooms, three bathrooms, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, 
it's got all the stuff that you need um and then for the front porch i just did like this swinging um like bench i feel like whenever i think of like ranch houses and stuff like that i always think of like a swinging um bench on the porch um probably just from like movies and stuff but that's i always just like have that in mind so i literally went and got cc to put um on this porch because i was like i need to have that <laughs> in this house so yeah that's up here and then i just like i think i put like the lemonade um drinking tray thing from the backyard kit so they can have some lemonade and sit out on the front porch and watch the sunrise um so i thought that was nice and yeah we just do some of that and then we go in on the inside of the house i did want to mention i did like you'll kind of see like even with the, like the table out here on the front porch um some of the textures are leaning slightly more to the alpha side i was i'm kind of like in a little phase right now where i'm preferring alpha looking textures um i'm still obviously using maxis match things but i just like to use both i just like the way it looks to use both um there's just like certain things where i want more texture on it and so yeah so there's some things that might look like that most of it to be honest is just maxis match um or like maxis mix but there's just like a couple things here and there so i thought i'd mention that because i know some people don't love that but you could replace it um with something that matches your taste a little bit more but um yeah that's in there who knows how long that's gonna last i had to actually um redo my mods folder because it was like i think it was like 71 gigabytes which is absolutely insane and i was like oh because my game is kind of like loading slowly and i was like why is it loading so slow and then i went and checked the file size of my mods folder and then it was like 71 gigabytes and i was like oh that's why so i had to sit down for an afternoon and take everything out and replace it and um it was kind of annoying because i think the patch or like the update or whatever um happened like right after i did that and it was when like i'd replaced all of my like gameplay mods and stuff like that so that was kind of annoying because i have to wait <laughs> for that um but it is what it is my timing was just kind of wasn't the greatest i didn't have the greatest timing for that but um yeah you know we gotta do what we gotta do it's the um it's a way of uh things when you mod your games but yeah for this living room i did um this kind of like blue and i don't know if it's pink like the couches don't like they're kind of pink but i thought that they were like a kind of salmony like brownie color maybe they're just pink maybe my eyes are just terrible but i actually have to go to an eye appointment so who knows <laughs> um but i thought that they looked uh nice in this room and they had those cushions on there that were kind of blue colored so i decided to just uh, match them in with the rug in here so yeah there's like little pieces not all the furniture matches because i figure like if you're you know living in a place for a while then you're gonna collect stuff over time so that everything's gonna be like completely matching um so yeah there's like little pieces maybe there's like heirlooms and stuff from family members um that they've inherited over time and that's kind of what i went for in here i, I think this house is like a mixture of having rustic and um contemporary items and then just like splashes of like older stuff which i I don't know I always like things that do that um I'm usually not a fan of like doing one thing only I just like the way it feels more like homey to have more like eclectic pieces I guess from different you know different um times <laughs> in the in history I guess I don't know um different styles and stuff but yeah I do say I will say um that when we get to the parents bedroom i was originally go gonna go with like this like emerald like kind of greeny greeny bluish um bedding and then i changed the color to a yellow bedding and when i was like editing this video and looking over the footage i really don't like 
It's not that I don't like the way it looks because it, it looks good with what I put in that the bedroom, but I don't like how like tropical, I guess, the colors feel altogether. Um, it doesn't feel like it fits with like the house um, and like the colors and stuff, but like uh, it is what it is. <laughs> so um, I don't like some of the color, like I like the colors in there. I just don't think it fits the house style. Um, I think I should have left the emerald bedding, but I did change it. So yeah, if it looks kind of like tropical like to you in the like in the parents bedroom, um, it does to me too. And I, I don't like it, but <laughs> I had to leave it. So um, yeah. Also, just a little heads up because I did end up, because um, like the update just happened recently. Uh, I did update my game. Um, I took the plunge. I usually don't do this. I usually like wait. Honestly, sometimes I wait up to like a month to update my game uh, just to like see how everyone else kind of fares with it and like what broke and what didn't. And I took the plunge this time because they like kind of basically like if you're on Windows, it like forced you to update to DX11, which is like supposed to make the game a bit more optimized and run better. And I've been having a lot of issues with the game recently running kind of terribly. Um, like just kind of laggy and stuttery for like no reason and this was like after I cleaned out my mods folder So I wasn't really sure like what was going on. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna like, you know, take my saves out take the tray out Take my mods folder out and then update the game um, so I updated the game. I did a repair of the game and um, Yeah, it's so now my game is updated. So it is now running on DX 11 um, and I see, I do see, like, a bit of the optimization. I feel like, um, it runs a little bit smoother. And I do think that the graphics quality is a little bit better. I actually have to get a new monitor for my computer because my monitor is, like, low-key dying. Like, <laughs> sometimes it, like, fades in and out. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I really have to get a new monitor. Um, but I have to wait a little bit to like afford it. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see about that. But, um, yeah, I have been having issues and stuff like that. So I'm going to update it eventually, but there, I did notice like a little bit of an improvement with the, with the DX11 update. Um, but the unfortunate thing that comes with, um, it updating is I can't use, um, G shade anymore. I've had to now switch to reshade and the shaders are basically like different um if you switch over so nothing really looks the same so the um shader that i've been using for my game for building and stuff like that and pretty much anything else like my gameplay presets i had my cast presets that i had um my gameplay or sorry my building presets um they're all like they don't look even remotely the same anymore <laughs> so um and I put, like, the ones from G-Shade into Reshade just to see if, like, um, it would be better. And it, like, it, it did, like, fix it up a little bit. But they just, there's always something that's going to just not feel the same. And I feel like the, like, depth shaders that come with Reshade act a lot differently. Um, so I've just been kind of puttering around and trying to figure out. I literally sat down for, like, not even joking, like, probably, like, three hours, which is insane. And <laughs> was just, like, you know trying to like tweak the settings to be what uh i'd like them to be um and i did that for a while yesterday and i think i got it to a point that i like but it does not look the same so um from the videos that are going to come out after this video um yeah my game's not going to look the same and it's because i had to basically i was kind of like forced basically um with the dx11 update um to switch to reshade so yeah it's not going to look the same um, but it does run actually a little bit smoother, so maybe it's actually a blessing in disguise. Um, but yeah, anyways, I thought I'd just, like, give a heads up if you guys, like, click on a video and you're like, this does not look the same. It's not going to, unfortunately, because I, I did have to switch over. But it does run a little bit better, so, um, there is that. And also, the ceilings, which have been bothering me so much. Um, I keep making them, like, really dark in houses and stuff. Like, since I've been building since the last update that broke ceilings, it was, like, making, like, outdoor lighting go indoors. And it was, like, making it, like, blue and terrible. 
Um, so I've just been like making the ceilings really dark in my houses to like kind of try and offset it. But um, now that I've updated, I have fixed ceilings, which is really nice. And I don't have to deal with the terrible blue outdoor lighting that comes in. So that is nice. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I think I'm going to leave you guys here for the voiceover at least. But you guys are going to go on to the, um, the rest of the house. And I hope that you like this, um, this video. I hope you like this build as always. The links are in the description box so you can get the tray files for this build as well as the um, CC document um, that will be on like a Google file. So it'll take you to a Google um, kind of page and I've laid out all the CC creators that I use and all the sets that I use for this specific build. And yeah, so that's where you can get that and the tray files will be on some file share and I hope that you enjoy this build. And if you do, then like the video and if you're not subscribed yet, then feel free to subscribe. Um, yeah, we hit 3000, which is like awesome and amazing. And uh, it's like so cool to have people here that enjoy my videos. So I'm really grateful. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video and this build. And I will stop, um, you know, rambling on because my brain's not 100% uh, because I'm hungry. So I'm going to go eat and I will see you guys next time.